In this video, we're going to look at trigonometry and obtuse angles. Now, if we take two supplementary angles, we're going to notice some interesting things going on here. If you don't know what supplementary angles are, I'm going to give you an example. Let's say my angle here is 30 degrees. What would the angle be on the other side? This is a straight line. So the angle on the other side would have to be 150 degrees. Because when you have a straight line, the angles will add up to 180 degrees. Supplementary angles are angles that add up to 180 degrees. So we would say 150 and 30 are supplementary angles. So we're going to explore some things with supplementary angles. I also want to explain what obtuse and acute means in case you've forgotten. The 30 degree angle is called an acute angle. An acute angle is an angle that is between 0 to 90 degrees. Quite often we remember them as being cute or small angles. The 150 degree angle is called an obtuse angle. Obtuse angles are between 90 to 180 degrees. They're bigger than the acute angles. Alright, let's look at our table below. In this table we have supplementary angles. 30 degrees is supplementary to 150 degrees. You'll notice that in the right column we have angles of 150 degrees and these are called obtuse angles. And then in the left column we have angles of 30 degrees. These are called acute angles. So we're going to start by finding sine of 30, cos of 30 and tan of 30. Let's do that now on the calculator. Remembering it should say DEG or D for degrees at the top. Sine of 30 is nice and simple, it's 0 0.5. Let's now find cos of 30. We get, we'll do it to three decimal places, 0 0.866. And finally, tan of 30. 0.577. Now we're going to move to the right column. Remember that our angle here of 150 degrees is supplementary to the angle of 30 degrees on the left. So we'll bring up our calculator now. Let's find sine of 150. We get 0.5. 0.5. Notice that sine of 30 and sine of 150 gave us the same result. All right, let's see what happens when we do it for cos. Cos of 150. We get negative 0.866. So negative 0.866. And finally, tan of 150 we get negative 0.577. So what happened in this scenario? Well, when we used the sine function, we got the same result in both instances. When we used the cos function and also the tan function, we got the same number, except it had a negative out the front of it. So is that going to happen in all situations? Well, Let's have a little explore. Let's go to another page. This time I'm going to pick the angles 60 and 120 degrees because these ones are supplementary as well. They add up to 180 degrees. So we're going to find sine, cos and tan of 60 and then we're going to find sine, cos and tan of 120. Now rather than me bringing up the calculator in front of you, I've actually solved these already. So we're going to have 0 0.866 for sine 60, so cos 60 is 0 0.5, and tan 60 came to 1.732. Now, if these are the results we get on the left side for the angle of 60 degrees, what do you think we will get when you do 120 degrees? Well, without even using a calculator, I can give you the solution. Sine of 120 will be 0 0.866 because... When we use the sine function, 
for supplementary angles, we get the same result. Cos of 120 is going to give the same number of 0 0.5, but it's going to be a negative. And for tan of 120, we're also going to get the same number as tan 60, except once again, it will turn into a negative. Now I would like to encourage you to grab your calculator and check that this is true. So I think it's time for us to summarize what we have learned here. We have learned that if we have two supplementary angles and we apply the sine function to these, that both numbers will be exactly the same. We've also learned that if we apply the cosine function or the tangent function to supplementary angles, that the number stays the same except in this particular example, if our original number was positive, then the next one became negative. Now, it doesn't always go from positive to negative. If you start out with a negative number, you'll actually find that the next one will become positive. Anyway, that concludes our video on trigonometry and obtuse angles. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.